Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? It's me, your one furry boy, Never, your guide to the movies and more, and you're watching The Never Show. Yes, the only show with lemon-scented limes, lest I forget, and the only show with a supernatural, super awesome third eye. I mean, why ask why? And it's Wednesday, so that means we review the movies, and yes, we are reviewing a movie that I did say was horrible before, and it has gotten even horrible since. So let's get right into that. And today's movie is Den of Thieves. It's a rated R film. It's two hours and 20 minutes. Too long, if you ask me, for an action crime drama that is supposed to be a gritty saga. More like made-for-TV movie, if you ask me. Director Kirsten Gargett and, and writer, with writer Paul Sherling, tell a long and twisting tale of nonsense. There's a lot of extra footage in this. That really goes nowhere and a lot of storytelling that gets lost, that should have gotten lost on the cutting room floor. Gerard Butler as Big Nick O'Brien just really comes off as a total tool bag. And anytime that he's a bad cop or plays a villain, which he doesn't really play a good cop here, but he's still a bad cop. And it's just horrible. He just doesn't do well as a villain, I guess. Pablo Schrebler as Ray, Ray Marin, Shea Jackson Jr. as Donnie Wilson, 50 Cent as Evan Lavox. Uh, I have to admit, 50 Cent does look really good in this movie. He must have bulked up. And the people who helped him, Gerard Butler and everything, do their tactical shooting was on point, And I salute them for that. That is a really good thing. Whoever they got to teach them tactical shooting and everything and how to reload oh my gosh a movie where they actually reload <laughs> yes scary now metal williams as holly maurice complete as benny barcho mcgollin jeez these names are hard brian van halt as murphy connors evan jones as bosco osterman mo ray mo mac ray as gus Henderson, Kwai Hyman as Tony Zappazi, uh, Eric Breeden as Ziggy Zer Zerson, jeez, God, names in this movie of people, Jordan Briggs as Lob and Bob, oh, God, Louis Tan as, who I think was the only really serious thing here, whoever walked him through how to be a security guard made him too wiry and it was almost hilarious at points and cooper andos is mac uh, let's do our uh rundown of the usual nonsense production companies diamond films productions g base which i think that's uh 50 cents company i'm not sure i i've tried to look it up and i can't find any information on it tucker Tooley entertainment our good old distributor here in america God bless America, land that I love. Uh, STX Entertainment. Uh, our special effects were Peerless Camera Company, which, uh, to go into the special effects, there are a few really gory headshots in this movie that I didn't want to see. And it, it just really distasteful. It just didn't work out, you know? I don't know what else to say. So let me run down my thoughts on this movie. It is a convoluted mess with long shots, over 
you know, the storytelling is good, but it's so slow and the movement is so over and it takes, it's such a long build up to almost nothing. And it's really painful. I don't know what else to say. It, it just was, I ADD so hard on this that I actually did my toenails in the movie theater. Sorry, next patron, you may be stepping on somebody's, somebody's clipped toenails. I'm so sorry. Uh, I just didn't really like where this was going. And in the end, the twist ending at the end where everything finally met up, you weren't expecting it, but it was such a long buildup that you were kind of expecting something. And my kitty senses were tingling when Gerard Butler found the gentleman called Horse. Sorry if this is a bit of a spoiler. Found him missing from the car towards the end of the movie. You knew he had set everybody up. And I'm sorry if that's a bit of a spoiler, but I'm not going to highly recommend this. This one is a definite pass. Uh, I see this is a definite TV watch because it's two hours and blah, 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 overshot long. But uh, I would definitely see this as a DVD pass. I'm going to say this is a rental for somebody who who might be interested in how to not do a movie. So, you know, uh, if you got a rainy day and you're stuck inside and you need something to watch, I definitely wait, say wait for this to come to Redbox, wait for this to come on uh, Amazon Prime or uh, what is it? The other one, the other movie services. Wait for this to come to service. You're not missing anything. It's dipping in popularity so bad. It's a 7-2 on IMDb. It is a 40% on Rotten Tomatoes. It was 44 when... We reviewed 12 Strong. Uh, I'm definitely going to say this is a theater pass. Don't waste your money. Save your money. There are better movies coming this, this, this spring. You're definitely going to enjoy it way more than this. Uh, I really want to see what CinemaSense thinks about this. If I'm smelling blood in the water, Big Papa Shark, a.k.a. Jeremy of CinemaSense, is definitely going to find the big deep meaty chunks <laughs> that was why this movie just doesn't work so i really do want to see what they think about this movie just because den of thieves is so bad so if you like what you see in here make sure you hit that like button youtube's told us it means nothing but for me it's just telling me that i did something that you liked so you know hit it if you want <laughs> remember all comments are 100 percent guaranteed response tell me your realities your fan fictions whatever you want uh i can't wait to hear what you have to say about this just to be honest because i like that i miss talking to you guys the last couple of videos have been kind of quiet so please you know talk back to me tell me what you think be honest be brutal i can take it <laughs> Uh, just remember to keep it real. I can smell a lie like a fart in a smart car. You know, I got to ask, we need your patronage right now with YouTube the way it is. And this is the rules and we got to live by them. Uh, we need you to patronize our Patreon or our Amazon thing. It doesn't matter which each have its benefits and drawbacks. Make sure that you put your, put your contact information in. We hate saying thank you, anonymous donor. But you guys are really keeping me going right now. I can't thank you enough for all that you've donated so far. And we're almost there. Some of our projects are about to come to fruition. We just need a few more helping hands to get us through. And I can't wait to show you what's next. And if you want to see more of this nonsense, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscriptions mean everything now in the new algorithm of YouTube, and we can't do it without you subscribing. So make sure you hit that little bell icon. Ding. So it tells you when I make my next video. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye. Bye.